Hi and welcome. In this video, I will discuss security awareness, training and education with regards to the users of information systems. Before proceeding further, please turn on the subtitles for this video. In order to implement a successful information security in any organization, we need uh, to carry out knowledge transfer to the users and to the employees. And this is the responsibility of the governance of that particular organization. So the end objective of this knowledge uh, transfer is to modify the behaviors of all uh, the users in that organization. Now there are three levels of this knowledge transfer which is conducted by the governance of that organization and these levels are awareness, training and uh, security education. Now in security awareness, uh, this is basically a requirement uh, before conducting the training of the users. So in security awareness, we establish uh, a common baseline for all the users starting from the management till uh, the end user. So all the users of information systems learns their security liabilities with regards to the information systems they use. So this uh, security awareness should conform with the culture of that particular organization. Otherwise, a user will not follow the awareness guidelines. So security awareness should cover the key security topics or the basic uh, security topics with regards to, for example, the frauds or the wastage of information system resources or to prevent any unauthorized use of information systems. So the end objective over here is to modify the behavior of all users so that uh, they can comply with the instructions of security policies, procedures or guidelines. So we can uh, generate uh, security awareness among all the users through the post or through the notices or newsletters or screen servers or t-shirts or speeches by the management. Next uh, cover, uh, comes uh, this training. So this training is more detailed uh, than this awareness. So after conducting awareness, we need uh, to conduct uh, training uh, for the specific uh, users or the admins. So this training is for the job functions, uh, for example, the security trainings of the admin. So this security training can be conducted locally by the organization or it can be arranged through a third party if an advanced form of this training is required. So security training uh, should be conducted for all employees in an organization, including uh, the new employees. And uh, employees with similar job functions should be grouped together uh, to conduct or to arrange a specific uh, training of their job functions. So while conducting uh, security training, we need uh, to ensure the need to know aspect or to need to know uh, topics for that particular training, not more than that. So after conducting training, there are certain metrics we can use to evaluate uh, the level of uh, the training being induced or uh, in the uh, employees by conducting uh, their test 
or by reviewing the numbers of incidents or the mistakes uh, done by these employees after the training. So the end objective of security training is to improve the job efficiency of your employees and also to force them to comply with your security policy. Then this education is a more detailed endeavor than uh, the security training and also the awareness because in education uh, the employees uh, learn extra uh, than what is required for performing their job function. So in training the employees only learn uh, what is required uh, to perform their job function but in education they learn extra information besides uh, their job functions. So this uh, security training can be arranged uh, for the employees who are pursuing for the certification or for job promotions. Now after conducting uh, this awareness training as education, we need to ensure that uh, these all levels of knowledge uh, trans, uh, transformation should be periodically uh, assess for their efficacy by reviewing the content of these uh, knowledge transfer mechanisms so that we can update uh, their content if there is any change in the organization structure or if there is any change in the security policy. So if uh, the governess does not ensure uh, this content review and updates, then these knowledge transfer mechanisms will become stall over a period of time and the users will create their own guidelines. So this was all from my side. Please stay connected uh, to my channel and subscribe it uh, for similar videos. Thank you.